Hello guys, in this video, we'll be talking about the masters of repetitive tasks in Python loops. So sit back, chillax, and let's start coding. What is a loop? A loop is a code that lets you write an instruction and repeat it automatically. In Python, we have two types of loop. We have the for loop and the while loop. What are for loops? A for loop is used when exactly you know how many times you want something to run. For example, I want to say for i in range of 5. So we're going to tell Python to print hello. If I run this code, hello is going to be printed five times. Let's run the code and see. So we're getting hello, hello for the five times. Now the range function returns a sequence of number starting from zero by default and increment it by one and stops before a specified number. So for this code, five is a specified number. So it starts by four. So it counts from zero to four. So hello will be printed five times. Now, as you can see, we have a variable named fruits, which has a list of fruits. Now we're going to loop through this item of this list. So we're going to create our for loop. We say for fruits and in fruits, I want to tell Python to print our fruits. Now let's run the code and see. So we're getting apple, banana, mangoes, and dragon fruits in a sequence. Now let's break this down. The fruit is the list that houses the items of apple, banana, mangoes, and dragon fruits. For fruit and fruit means Python picks one item from the list at a time. Now the fruit is like an iterator. It is assigned to apple, then banana, then mango, and then finally dragon fruit. It's a variable that you're creating that is going to be equal to banana, apple, mangoes, and dragon fruit. Now you can also name this variable whatever you want. You can say for x in fruit, for y in fruit, for items in fruit, the code still runs the same. What is a while loop? A while loop is used when you don't know exactly how many times you need something to run. It keeps going as long as the condition is true. It repeats until it finds a clue. For example, we have a variable named clues found, which is equals to zero. So we want to create our while loop. We see while our clues found is less than three. We want to press enter so our indentation to come. Remember, everything right under the loop should be indented. So we want to say print searching for clues. Then we're going to come out and put our searching, our cruise found variable. Then we're going to put our increment. Say cruise found plus or equals to one. Then we're going to break out of the while loop. Then we want to print our mystery solve. Now let's run the code and see. Searching for clues. Yeah, this is it. So now this code will keep running until something changes. If the detective finds three clues, it stops. As you can see, it says searching for clues from zero to one to two. That is three clues. Mystery solved. Now, clues found plus or equals to one. This is increment. The variable clues found has an integer of zero, as we stated earlier. And our condition was why clues found is less than three. Now, this condition is true because clues found was equal to zero. But when incremented from zero to one to two, it makes the condition false and breaks the while loop. That is what the increment does. But note that without that increment, we are going to be stuck in something called an infinite loop. An infinite loop is a loop that never ends. It keeps looping until you forcibly stop the code from running or your computer crashes. Yes. A while loop can crash your computer. So you have to be careful when working with while loop. Another example. Now, as you can see, we have a variable named secret number, which is equals to seven. And we have another variable named guess, which is nothing. Now we want to create a while loop. This is going to be a text-based game using while loop. So we want to see while our guess is not equals to our secret number. We want to put our colon and put enter for our indentation to come up. We will now create a guess variable. We say guess 
is equals to our int we stand for integer and our input will ask the user which is also the user guess the secret number with a hint there that the secret number is from 1 to 10 10 then we'll put a condition say if our guess is less than our secret number remember this is a conditional statement and i have a video on conditional statement we're putting the pad on the screen so if you don't really know much about conditional statement you click that video and watch it where i used a text-based game to explain conditional statement we'll print too low then we'll say else if which stands for l if we say guess greater than secret number that's if the user gets more than seven or higher than seven we want to print too high they are going to break out of the while loop block they will not print u1 that if the user gets the correct number prints u1 now let's run the code and see guess the secret number let's see two too low get the secret number let's see nine too high get the secret number let's see seven yeah you won as you can see the while loop keeps running as long as the condition guess it's not equal to the secret number is true this means that if the guess is not equal to the secret number the loop continues but once the guess is equal to the secret number the loop stops remember as you said earlier a while loop is used when you don't know exactly how many times you want something to happen just like this code now we guess and guess until we got the secret number that is while loop in python what is nested loop a nested loop is a loop inside another loop this structure is commonly used when you need to perform operation on multi-dimensional data structures like a list of lists or processing tags that require multiple level of looping for example we are going to write for i in a range what is the range we are using range 2 which is the start and range 8 which is the stop you're going to stop by range 7 remember it's, i said range stops before the specified number given now this is the outer loop remember what we said about loops a nested loop a nested loop is a loop inside a loop this is the outer loop let me create the inner loop remember the inner loop is invented inside the outer loop so see for j in a range of three to eight this is the inner loop I want to print use an f string for this one we'll say uh with our curly braces with i x with our curly brace again j then we'll put a little basic arithmetic here with our curly braces again we'll now say i times j just to put a little bit of arithmetic on this code then we'll break out of the inner loop and we'll print a little bit of text dot 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 now this one you could and see yes as you can see we're getting a two times table a three times table a four times table a five times table and a six times a six times seven seven times table so this is a nested loop in python it's a loop inside another loop thank you very much for watching this video in python remember to check out my previous video on conditional statements in python so remember kindly like share subscribe to my youtube channel and drop a comment to help me beat the youtube algorithm thank you very much guys